Pistol B. Landlords. <laughs> I wanna fly despite my broken wings. Lord help me learn to fly despite my broken wings. Mama, please, I wanna fly despite my broken wings. Lord help me learn to fly despite my broken wings. Mama, please, I wanna fly despite my broken wings. Lord help me learn to fly despite my broken wings. Mama, please, I wanna fly despite my broken wings. All right, so you want to make fully kitted, landmark style, pestily Tarkov guns, right? You want to make them Chad guns. You want to build a Chad gun, right? You want to go in there, take some Chads out, and uh, there's only one way to do it, and that's to build the Chad gun, right? You got to have a Chad gun if you want to kill a Chad, right? Not true at all, but... The better you build your gun up, the better it's going to perform for you. That's how this game works. Most games do that as well. If you add attachments and things to your gun, you increase the performance of that gun. Tarkov is no different. So the first thing you want to do if you want to get into the gun modding side of Tarkov is you need to unlock the flea market. In order to unlock the flea market, you have to be at least level 15. So once you get to level 15, you unlock the flea market and you get a whole bevy of different attachments and guns and ammo and weapon parts and stuff. All these things that you're going to need to build your gun up. You're going to need all types of barrels and all types of gas blocks and hand guards and pistol grips, slides and receivers. Who knows where all this stuff goes, right? You just you find some charging handles like who would even know where to put this stuff, right? Well, I'm going to make it easy on you. So first thing you want to do, of course, unlock the flea market. You got to get to level 15 at least to unlock the flea market. That at least gives you access to the types of attachments you're going to want to put on the gun. doesn't mean you're going to have access to everything. But some things are locked behind. Quests, rewards, and task rewards. So you might have to complete a certain task to unlock a certain item that goes on your gun. Uh, well, you may have to hit a certain level and uh, hit a certain level with that trader to where that item unlocks. So you won't have access to everything, but depending on what people put on the flea market, you'll have access to most things. Some things aren't able to be put on the flea market. Uh, they just can't be sold. Like I have, um, if I go in here, I got this thing called a Reaper. This is like one of the most expensive scopes in the game, right? And if I go to search on the flea market for it, the Trijicon Reap IR is not on here. No offers have been found. That means nobody's selling this thing. That means it can't be sold. Because uh, if it could be sold, it would be sold. Next thing you're going to want to do is get into this hideout. In order to properly mod guns and save presets, you're going to want to have your workbench at least to level one. In order to get your workbench to level one, you're going to need two screw nuts, two bolts, and one Leatherman multi-tool. Once you do get those things together, you can upgrade your workbench and you can start uh, doing some gun modding. All right, now once you get that workbench to level one, you can test it out. Go into your character screen and let's uh, let's grab a gun, any gun, right? Let's, uh, let me see if I can find a gun that doesn't have much on it. It's not gonna be easy for me because all my guns are pretty well modded. So here's a gun here that's not in working condition only because it doesn't have a handle. But because I have my workbench unlocked now, I can right click on this gun and I can go to modding. Now what modding, the modding window does, this will pull um, attachments and parts from your stash. So this is only gonna concern things that you have in your stash. That's the modding window. So if I click down here to this pistol grip, these are pistol grips I have in my stash now. And see, I can even see this one here has been um, insured because I've taken it into a raid with a different gun probably. Um, if I were to change this stock out, I don't have any other stocks. So when I click stock, I have nothing else to put on here because I have nothing else in my inventory. Scopes, I keep tons of scopes. I grab... I grab these Valdez and these Spectres every time I see them because they're my favorite scopes. Also, like to get the uh, Voodoo's if I can grab them off of a PMC or a Rogue or a Raider or whatever. 
So I tend to save my optics because I don't like buying these 70, 80, even 200,000 ruble optics. So I'll grab them and save them so I can come into my modding window later and just slap it onto a gun. Um, you can change out everything from right here. Another cool thing about this modding window is I can see the stats for this gun right here. Info tab, open that sucker up, and here I am. Now I can see my recoil, vertical and horizontal, the durability of the gun, the weight, the ergonomics, very important in Tarkov. People don't pay attention to ergo, but that's going to determine how long you can ADS on a gun without depleting your arm stamina, um, how much noise you make moving around and ADSing, how quickly you can ADS. Is also determined by ergonomics. So if you got a big bulky gun with a million attachments on it and like zero ergo, and you go to raise it up to, to ADS to aim and hit something, it's going to take you an hour to ADS and line that target up. So keep that in mind when you're building. Uh, the next cool thing about this window is I can take these mods off of the gun and see exactly how they impact the gun immediately. So let's say I want to remove this RK0. So I'm at 66.5 vertical and 170.3 horizontal. Let's remove that. Now I'm at 69.6 vertical recoil, but notice my horizontal recoil didn't change very much. That means that that particular thing doesn't affect that recoil. Now watch this. I'll pop this open. Here are items I have in my stash. I can just hover over these items. And in real time, I can see the stat changes. So I can see this one here is going to knock 17 off my horizontal recoil and two off my vertical recoil. This one here is going to knock only three off the vertical recoil. So, of course, this is a much better um, foregrip. Um, the problem is this is going to cost you a lot more than this one. Same thing with this one here. This one here does a little bit better on the horizontal recoil. And it does better on the ergonomics, as does this one. So that's the... Uh, uh, trade-off you get. Sometimes you'll get more ergo out of things and less recoil, or you might get more recoil, less ergo, or you might get that good piece like this. It gives you a benefits of both, but you know, it's Tarkov, so you get what you pay for. All right, we're going to exit out of this window now. So that's the modding window. That's the easy side of things because that pulls only from the items you have in your stash. Now, let's say I want to equip things on this gun that I might not necessarily have in my stash. That's when I want to right click and go to edit preset. This is going to look exactly like the modding window, but the difference is now I can pull from everything that this game has to offer. So when I click uh, pistol grips now, now you see every pistol grip in the game that can go on this gun. Every pistol grip that can go on this gun is what you see right here. Here's a pistol grip I don't own. Let's slap some red on here. As a matter of fact, Let's make this AK look pretty, all right? We're going to stay in this view. We're going to see what all we can attach on here. Uh, look at this. You see this PT lock? Let's slap that on there. Let's uh, slap this on there. All right. Let's come here. Oh, look at this. Here's some red. Let's get some red. In. Oh, before we do that, let's, uh, let's maybe take that whole foregrip out and replace it with something different. Uh, that's not the one. Ah, see, look at these. So now this telling, this is telling me right now, all of these foregrips can go on this AK, but some of them cannot go because of other parts that I have. So look at this. If I hover over this hexagon AK, I cannot install both the AK-104 and hexagon AK at the same time. So apparently, this just won't go on here. Um, it's probably because of the barrel, more than likely. The barrel length is not the right size. Some of these other items will tell me, I cannot install both the B33 and the AKML at the same time. So the B33 is the thing I have on top of my gun that allows me to put a stock on it. So let's remove that. Let's remove a few things like that. And now I can go in here and try to put some things on once again. I got my gas block good. So now you see I have access to more things since I took that uh, B33 off. Now I can put this on. Let's get a little more red in there. I like it. Uh, we'll put a M-lock on the bottom here so we can 
attach some more stuff. Let's get more red in there. You know, let's make it pretty, right? Uh, we're going to put something on top here, uh, a dust cover, so that we can attach gun uh, optics to it. Uh, you see some of these covers have um, attachments on there that allow you to just slap something on there, like the Bastion is a pretty typical um, dust cover that we use early on. So I'm going to attach that Bastion on there. And again, I can view in real time what each of these attachments is doing to this gun as I put them on there. If I put the Bastion on there, now watch. If I go to remove it, look at that. It actually raises the ergo by removing the Bastion. The Bastion does not have good ergonomics. But that's okay because it's early. it's an early item and it allows us to attach optics. Now when I go to attach optics, holy crap, look at all this stuff. Some things are actually optics. Some things are attachments that allow you to attach optics. And if you're just viewing a trader and you see all these items, you have no idea what these items go to. So if I go to somebody like, let's leave out of here. If I go to somebody like Proper, right? And I look at some of these crazy attachments he has to go on the top of your gun. Actually, he doesn't have too many. Let's go to Mechanic. Mechanic lives up to his name. He's truly a mechanic. But look at some of this stuff here. Look at this RMR mount. Now, of course, we know it goes to an RMR because it tells you, but otherwise, how would you know? Well, one way you can find out is to just do a linked search. Link searching on any item will let you know what items are compatible with it. So if I right click, do a link search, now I can see this thing attaches to a pistol slide, of course. But if I drop down over here, Functional, look at this. I can pull up all of the different things that this thing will attach to. And here's the RMR itself, the Trigicon. This will attach to that base plate, which then attaches to the top of your pistol, right? And they don't, they don't tell you that, but that particular RMR item uh, will only attach to a pistol. So uh, there's that as well. Um, so yeah, right clicking on an item and going into the uh, uh, link search will help you find out what items are compatible with what. So we're gonna go back to our gun here and we're gonna attach a few more items. So let's put us an optic on this gun here. We're gonna build it however we want it, right? So we can make this thing as crazy as we want. Let's try this SIG Alpha 30 millimeter ring. Looks kind of weird. I wish they had something in red, but they don't. Oh, but you know what they do have? Let's do this. Let's put this guy on here. And they have this razor. Look at this. This is almost red, right? It's kind of reddish, right? We'll take it. It's red enough. Slap that on there. Now my gun's looking better. Let's slap a magazine in here. Oh, my goodness. We can get the big boys, huh? We can get some yellow stuff, man. Let's splash some more color on here. Let's Make this thing look like it's something out of the Caribbean or something, right? So we slap all this stuff on here. We can even change out our suppressor. Let's put a better looking suppressor on there. That looks better, right? Right? All of that looks better. So here's our gun. This is the gun I want to build. Now, how do I build it? I built this in the preset, but it is not built in the game. So see, if I go to character, I come back out here. My gun's still the same. This is not being done in real time. So when I go into that modding window, it's building it in real time. But when I'm in the preset, edit preset menu, it's not building it in real time. So let's go back. Notice I'm able to go back and forth between that. As long as I don't go too deep into the windows, all I have to do is go back and I can um, go right back into editing my preset. So here's my preset. I like the way this looks. Let's come up here and we're going to assemble this gun. But before we assemble it, let's save it. I'm going to do a save as. I'm going to call this Caribbean. Yes, I can spell. AK. This is my Caribbean AK, right? And it's going to end up in my AK-104 preset. So let's save this gun. Now, if I exit out of this, let's say I want to come back into my presets. Bottom of my menu, presets. Here's all the guns, assault rifles. Let's find the AK-104, which I'll probably pass. 
Here it is, AK-104, Caribbean AK. There she is. Let's open that bad boy up. And here's my gun right there. Now, what it's saying is we want to build this gun, and here's the gun you have in your stash that we can build with. That's the gun I was building with. That's the gun I'm going to select. I select that gun. And now that's the gun I'll be building with. Now we want to assemble. Assault rifle. I backed up too much, unfortunately, but that's fine. That's why we save our presets. Back to our Caribbean AK. Back to assembling. All right, let's buy parts. Let's see what else we need here. So it's still got these parts up here because that's still part of my build, but let's change that. I'm going to back up. And instead of that suppressor, let's go with the one that I own. That's a little bit cheaper. We're balling on a budget out here. We can't just be buying everything. Uh, even this stock. Let's say we couldn't afford that stock and we want to go with this with the, with the uh, butt pad on the bottom of it. Now let's go to assemble. Buy parts. So we'll have unsaved changes. That just means I changed my preset from the one I saved. That's cool. We'll keep this one that we got going. So now... These are the only parts I need, and none of these parts can be bought from a trader at my current trader levels. So what do I do? Well, I can come up here to the filters, owner type, traders. Get that out of here. Show me everybody who has this. Now I'm looking at people on the flea market. See these names? These are people on the flea market selling these things. You can see that Vortex Razor, 170000 It's a bit pricey. The price for this entire um upgrade is going to be 302,000 rubles. Now maybe that's out of your budget, at which time you would back up and exchange these parts out of your preset to cheaper parts. But I'm doing okay with money as you guys can see, so we're going to build this bad boy. I'm rich, bitch. Um I'm going to go ahead and buy some of these things from the traders, but before I do that, I'm also going to hit another filter exclude bartering items so right now these are only showing me items that i can purchase with money what if i got some trades for bartering what if somebody wants to barter me a vortex razor well i click this and now i can see what people are willing to barter for look at this some of these people are willing to barter things let's try this this guy just wants a humpback for this thing that's probably easier to get than the thousands of rubles he asked for it what about this expensive vortex this guy wants an iron gate key. Now, this key's a little bit pricey here, so I think maybe buying the Vortex flat out might be better. But who knows? It all depends on what the economy's looking like and what item they're asking for. Look at this, a ring sight he wants, and I can get this uh, red pistol grip. So let's get past that, and let's go ahead, and uh, we're just going to purchase our items with money. We're not going to do all this buying stuff with, uh, with the bar items. So just to go back, I'm going to back up, go back to assemble, buy parts. This will kind of reset my filter and take me back. So now I can go back, get rid of traders. Now I'm back to seeing what all this stuff costs. Some of this stuff costs euros, some of this stuff costs dollars. But they equate it all in rubles when they show you your total estimated price. That's why it says total or estimated price. So let's purchase all this stuff. Yeah, it's going to cost me some money. That's fine. We bought all that stuff. I'm going to go back one more time. Now when I click assemble, it just puts it together. Now when I back out of this and go back to my character menu, there's my AK. How you like that? Some of these guns, like this gun here, I literally got this from another PMC. I killed the guy. He had a nice gun I like, so I like it like it is. Matter of fact, I like it so much, let's save this. I'm going to go into Edit Preset. I'm going to save as, and we're going to call this Chad Scar. This is the Chad Scar, right? Save my Chad Scar. So now if I ever wanted to build this gun again, I could always do it. Just go into Presets. I'm going to locate my assault rifles because that's what that is. FN SCAR H762. Which one is it? It's the L. Yeah, there it is. So it's the FN SCAR L556. And there's my Chad SCAR. 
pop it open and it says, hey, we'll build this. We'll use this gun to build it. Well, it's already built, so that'd be kind of a redundant point, but it won't mess nothing up because it's already built. So there it is. So hopefully that'll get you started, get you some modern tips, just the beginner stuff, you know. Uh, if you want to get more advanced, who knows? Maybe I'll do a more advanced video later. We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy hunting. Watch it. I'm on the fly, but my wings broke. In the sea and we smoke. Got me on the low, moving slow like a sea grow. I need more. Huh? But it's hard to see the road ahead. I'll probably get his music up and start selling dope and say, Man, look, devil got me thinking like a damn crook. Ducking heavy metal, living by this ghetto handbook. Eyes wide shut, burnt gears in a blunt. Sip beers in a cup. Three cheers, nigga, boy. We them beat killers, full clip, 20 round heat fillers, meet cleaver speech, eat a nigga like a beef dinner, lords on deck, be good, let me out the gate, 17 shot, rhyme doc, about to operate, injured but I wanna fly, seeking blessings in the sky, feel I'm running out of time, living, I don't wanna die, I hide my pain behind the line like a sister die, so consider it a sign when I'm getting high, I wanna fly despite my broken wings, Lord help me learn to fly despite my broken wings, Mama, please, I wanna fly despite my broken wings. Lord, help me learn to fly despite my broken wings. Mama, please, I wanna fly despite my broken wings. Lord, help me learn to fly despite my broken wings. Mama, please, I wanna fly despite my broken wings. Lord, help me learn to fly despite my broken wings. Mama, please. I wanna fly, but my wings ain't working. I'm about my spit, but I wish I was about my worship. Pop a shot and the soldier bleed. What happened to the fucking peace? I'm dying for a piece of mine. Hiding from the police. Looking at these streets worse. I wanna get away with murder. I say my shit lie, but that really mean it's murder. Bleed to spread my broken wings. Even with the hurt it brings, I cry trying to smile. I'm thankful for the love I need. Waiting for the rain to dry. Dreaming about the day I fly. With the Dutch lit, feel so counterfeit. JMC top shot, 216 top shot. Mike Ruff, Mike Drumstein.